Yo, what's going on, True Fam? Welcome back to the channel. It's White Shadow, and today, guys, we're going to be taking a closer look at the brand new graphics card from AMD that was launched at the Computer Electronics Show for 2019 of this year. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So AMD has finally launched their new graphics card, but it wasn't what everybody wanted. We were expecting the new Navi branded graphics card from AMD, but this is a kind of a pleasant surprise, honestly. This is the Vega refresh. So it's not, it's kind of a new addition to the Vega lineup. Technically it's the Vega 2, which if you look at their branding structure, the 7, the VII, stands for Vega 2. So what this means for us is we get a brand new die size. They basically shrunk the die increase the performance it's kind of brought down the stream processors which is what amd calls their gpu processing cores they brought down the stream processor count but that shrunken die size actually helps increase the performance and what they also added was 16 gigabytes of high bandwidth memory with a blazing fast speed that we're going to take a look at here in just a second so what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to load up AMD's website and show you guys all of the different specs that they have added to the new card and kind of go over what I fully expect to see AMD do this year and what my hopes are for the GPU market going forward in 2019 for us content creators. Because if you've seen my previous video for the RTX encoder for the new NVIDIA gra RTX graphics cards, you can stream and game off of the GPU now. So what I'm hoping is AMD can one up them with the technology that they have because on paper, the brute force of AMD's graphics cards are shaping up to be even better than what NVIDIA has with the RTX lineup. So let's go ahead and hop over to AMD's site and take a look at what they have to offer. All right, so as you can see, guys, right here on their site, that's what the graphics card looks like. It's a three fan design. And if you look right here, that is a dual eight pin power phase. What that tells me is that this is gonna be a very power hungry card but for good reason. You have 3,840 stream processors on this bad boy on a seven nanometer technological process. What this equates to is improved performance and improved thermals. And not only that, they were able to fit even more memory on the die. That's 16 gigabytes of high bandwidth memory with a blazing fast one terabyte per second memory bandwidth speed. What all of that jargon means is that you have a very good card for not only gaming, but content creation. Now, 3,840 stream processors, you're probably gonna be saying, White Shadow, that's less than what Vega 64 had. Correct. But with the new die size, which is seven nanometers, they were able to etch every bit of performance out of those 3,840 stream processors and increase that clock speed, whereas we couldn't get that with Vega 64. So you lose a little bit of stream processors, which arguably, if you look at this, that's not, that's still a ton of stream processors to play around with. We lost a little bit of stream processors, but gained clock speed, which is better for pretty much everything. The clock speed of this is running right around 1.8 gigahertz. I'm pretty sure you're going to be able to clock this bad boy and get easily 2 gigahertz out of it, especially with that dual 8-pin power phase design on this card. What I would like to see AM do with this card and all of the horsepower that it has is create a streamer-specific encoding preset, much like NVIDIA has done with the RTX cards, that takes part of these stream processors to encode your stream. Because... You, we know AMD has a strong core on their GPUs. We know Vega 64 had a fantastic architecture. It wasn't utilized properly. This is showing in early benchmarks and kind of AMD's presentation. They had a, this card running right next to an RTX 2080. This card has the 2080 level of performance. What I would like to see is AMD be able to utilize part of this memory part of that memory bandwidth and part of these stream processors to be able to encode our streams with this card. Not only that, this card is also going to be great for rendering video for all of you Twitch streamers and content creators out there that like to create videos and put them back on YouTube to expand your content. This is 100% what I was talking about with the RTX cards last time. These aren't just gaming cards anymore. We have content creation level cards like the AMD Radeon 7 like the RTX 2070, the 2080, the 2080 Ti. 
the brand new Titan. Even the 2060 is a content creation card. It has RTX cores on the card. This is some the stuff I like to see. AMD is now in the GPU market. They're coming out with Navi later this year. The GPU market is just heating up, guys. You thought 2018 was a great year for GPUs. You haven't seen anything yet. With where we sit with content creation right now, that's streaming, YouTube, Facebook Live, wh whatever it is, whatever you guys may create, these companies like AMD, Intel, NVIDIA, Elgato, Corsair, all of those huge, huge names are understanding that us content creators need the absolute best hardware and they're going to start creating things that are marketed towards content creators. They're going to start creating things like NVIDIA did with the RTX encoder. NVIDIA figured out, hey, our tensor cores are pretty freaking amazing at encoding streams and doing a lot of other style of processes. So they created an encoder for streamers so that they can do everything off of one PC. Granted, it's not as good as dual PC stream setup, but that's, I digress, that's besides the point. AMD, I fully expect them to do something with the new Radeon 7 and the Navi GPU going forward. Rumor has it on the uh, market rumor mill right now is Navi will have ray tracing and all of that fun stuff. And AMD's version of ray tracing. The AMD's Radeon 7 doesn't have that, but it does have brute force, brute raw horsepower that AMD could fully take control of and let us content creators, Twitch streamers, all of that, all of that fun stuff be able to use to enhance our streams and make everything look better. And honestly, I've seen in AMD's encoder, the coloring and the way the color grading and the way AMD handles color grading is a lot better than any other encoder I've seen. It's better than X264, it's better than NVENC, and I would fully love to see AMD do something with this card for streaming. So going forward in 2019, I fully expect seeing these cards be able to take advantage of all of their extra technologies, the raw horsepower that we're starting to see, and enhance streaming, because streaming is probably one of the biggest markets for technology today. It is the kind of modern day gold rush, if you will, for everyone, for streamers, for manufacturers of technology for just pretty gamers in general are flocking to streaming twitch facebook live mixer all of those big names out there can't wait to see what amd does the radeon 7 definitely excites me it's going to be a fantastic card in my opinion and it's one that actually competes in the market and competition is always good for everybody so guys if you like this video and you want to see some more stuff like it be sure to hit that like button and smash the subscribe button before you guys leave today i would super appreciate it if you guys want to follow myself or true gaming on any of our social medias be sure to do so all of those links are in the description below we would super appreciate that as well and i would love to have you guys come hang out with me on stream but guys that about wraps it up for this video i will see you in the next one we got plenty more great reviews content like this and overviews and things of that sort to go over on the channel so like i said see you in the next video why shadow out